Step 3. Perform one variable analyses. The rest of the steps in this tutorial indicate a logical progression of analyses you might perform on this dataset and on many other datasets. You don't necessarily have to follow this exact progression, but keep in mind that you are using stat tools to learn about the data. Therefore, this progression is a natural one. A good first step is to examine the variables one at a time. You can do this with tables of summary statistics, such as means, standard deviations, quartiles, and others. Or you can do it with charts, the most common being a histogram. You can do all of this quickly and easily with stat tools. To see summary statistics for one or more variables, select One Variable Summary from the Summary Statistics drop-down list. And in the resulting dialog box, check the variables and summary statistics of interest to you. I will check the variables female, age, years, and I will check my favorite summary statistics, mean, standard deviation, median, minimum, maximum, and first and third quartiles. Actually, stat tools will ignore choices of categorical variables such as gender. It requires numeric variables here. Also, if you happen to see two columns of checkboxes in the variable list section, right here, click the format button and select unstacked. That's already been done. The purpose of this option will be explained shortly. This dialog box is typical of most other Stat Tools dialog boxes you will see. The top section lets you choose a data set and select one or more variables of interest. The bottom section lets you choose how you want the analysis to be performed. Note the three buttons at the bottom. You will see these buttons in all Stat Tools dialog boxes, these three. The left button is for help. The middle button allows you to save selections for later analyses. For example, if you typically want the, only the summary statistics checked here, you can save these choices for later one variable analyses. I'll do that. The right button is especially useful. It brings up the following application settings dialog box, where among other things, you can select the report placement. You can see that there are four options here. For example, if you want each report to be placed on a new worksheet in the current workbook, you can select Active Workbook. Finally, click OK. Here are the resulting summary statistics. For example, the mean and standard deviation of salary are 63,875 and a little over 18,000. And 75% of the employee salaries are below 70,400, the third quartile. Also, the mean of the 01 female variable, 0.67, implies that about 67% of the employees are females. To create a histogram of one or more variables, Select Histogram from the Summary Graphs drop-down list. And select Variables of Interest, again numeric only. I will check the same four numeric variables as before. Female, Age, Years. Each histogram is a column chart of counts of observations in various categories, called bins. The bottom of this dialog box indicates that Stat Tools can choose these bins automatically. And this is often a good choice, although you can supply your own bins if you like. Again, if you see two columns of checkboxes in the variable list section, click the Format button and select Unstacked. Then click OK. And this produces a worksheet with four histograms, one for each checked variable. For example, here is the histogram of salary. As you can see, this distribution is skewed to the right. 
That is the most prominent characteristic you want to see from a histogram, its shape. Most employees are in the lower salary ranges, but a few can make considerably higher salaries. Now it's your turn. Create the summary statistics and histograms illustrated here. Experiment with report placements. You can change this report placement setting as often as you like, or you can always stick with your favorite. 